everybody and welcome to this video on the parabola. We will be looking at the axis of symmetry. So what is the axis of symmetry? It's a very important property of the parabola. It's a line which divides the parabola exactly into half and about which the, the parabola is symmetrical. So over here we have the axis of symmetry and if you have to fold the parabola along that line, it would fold exactly. So how do we get the axis of symmetry? The axis of symmetry is a line, so we have to state it as an equation. And the equation follows the formula of x being equal to the x coordinate of the turning point. So depending on which form we are working on, um, it will be calculated in different ways. So here are the three possible forms of the parabola, as we discussed in an earlier video. And this is then how do we get the axis of symmetry in each one of the forms. The first form is the standard form, which has the equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. In this form, the equation of the axis of symmetry is equal to x is equal to minus b over 2a, where b and a are the coefficients that we are referring to in the standard form formula. For the turning point form, it's quite simple because we are given the turning point. So the equation is y is equal to ax minus p squared plus q. And the axis of symmetry is simply x is equal to p star. A reminder that the star is given here, put it here, so you remember to change the sign from the equation. So in, if the equation there's a negative, you, then it is going to be a positive, or if it's a positive, then you're going to write it as a negative. So the star is to remind you to change the sign. For the last form, it's a root form, and the equation is y is equal to x minus x1 times x minus x2, and the, equa the equation of the axis of symmetry is simply the average of the root, so it's x1 star plus x2 star over two. And again, the stars are there to remind you to change the sign from the equation to the actual answer. So let's have a look at some uh, examples. Please, if you want to pause the video and try and find the axis of symmetry by yourself. So let's have a look at the first one. In this one here, it is in standard form. So we're going to use the standard form method. So the axis of symmetry is equal to x minus b over 2a. So our b value is 4, so it's minus 4 over 2 times a, and our a is 1. So this here is negative 4 over 2. So the axis of symmetry is x is equal to negative 2. Please note that your axis of symmetry, you write it as an equation. So you don't just write negative two, it's x is equal to negative two as it is referring to the whole line. Having a look at the second one, this again is in standard form. So in standard form, we're gonna use the formula x is equal to minus b over two a. So x is equal to the b in this case is negative. So it's minus minus five over 2 and then a is also negative 1 so this here is 5 over negative 2 as the equation of symmetry i mean the axis of symmetry let's have a look at the next one so the next one the equation is given to us in root form so we can use the formula x1 star plus x2 star over 2 so x1, we have to change the sign, so it's 1, plus x2, we have to change the sign, so it's minus 4, all over 2. So our equation of the axis of symmetry is 1 minus 4, which is minus 3 over 2. So this one here, again, this one here is in turning point form. So simply, it's x is equal to p star, where p star is the x, the p value in our equation. We have to remember to change the sign. So if it's negative 2, then it is simply x is equal to positive 2. Let's have a look at the last two. What form is this one in? It is in root form. And in root form, we use the equation x is equal to x1 star plus x2 star over 2. 
So this we change the sign, it becomes positive one plus negative one, negative four over two. So this here is negative three over two. For the last one, we have also in root form. So this one here is y is equal to x1 star plus x2 star over 2. So this here is equal to 1. We're changing the sign of that one to negative 1 plus 1 over 2. So sorry, it's supposed to be x is equal to. So we have that x is equal to 0 over 2, so x is 0. So the y-axis in this case is the axis of symmetry. So this is the equation of the y-axis. So I hope that you have been able to calculate the axis of symmetry for these cases. And if you have not, please re-watch the video. Um, if you would like to, please watch our previous videos on the parabola and keep up with the next videos coming.